morning, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron and I'm here to show you this 2014 64 plate Audi A1 1.6 litre TDI S line black edition. Finished off in glacier white with a two tone uh, contrasting roof and mirrors. First things first, we'll do a quick walk around of the vehicle and then when we get back round to the start, I'll show you the car once again but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest as we use them to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi specialist workshop and we give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what prepared to do to them prior to sale. All of our cars before going out receive a service as required, a fresh MOT and a full comprehensive health check. Now we're back round to the start. I'm going to look over the car again, panel by panel, looking for any dents, blemishes, scratches or anything like that. So the near side front wing looks good. Both near side doors look in good condition and the near side brick water looks good. The near side front alloy in good condition just with light curbing around the outer edge and the near side front tyre has got approximately two or three mil remaining so by the looks of it will be replaced in our workshop at the prep stage moving down the near side to the near side rear alloy so we got a really nice condition alloy one or two light marks to the outer edge on this one near side rear tyre is nearly new with a good five or six mil tread remaining one or two very very small pin dents just on this rear quarter that will be rectified by our dent doctor prior to sale so looking back down the near side now, near side rear quarter looks good, just one or two pin dents to be rectified prior to sale. Both near side doors look good and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the car now, so we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. As you can see on this one, we've got some light superficial marks just along the near side of the bumper there. One or two just along the off side as well. So we'll refinish the rear bumper on this car at one of our body shops prior to sale. Tail lights and tailgate look in good condition, rear screen looks good and along the roof lining looks in good condition as well. Looking down the offside of the car now from rear to front, offside rear quarter looks good, offside rear door looks good, offside front door looks good and the offside front wing looks good. Offside rear alloy looks in nice condition, only one or two light markings to the outer edge and the offside rear tyre with approximately four mil tread remaining. Moving down the offside now to the offside front alloy, nice condition alloy, light curve into the outer edge. Offside front tyre, again approximately two or three mil. So this car will come with two new tyres on the front prior to sale. Looking back down the offside now from front to rear, offside front wing looks good, both offside doors look good, and the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the car now, so we're going to check out all lights and grills and the front bumper itself. As you can see, all lights and grills look in good condition. As for the front bumper, for the age margin of the car looks really good as well. You've got one or two light touch-up marks as you'd expect. But other than that, looks in really good condition. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. As you can see, paintwork on the bonnet looks in good condition. No major scratches, dents or anything like that. But again, as you'd expect for the age of margin of the car, one or two very light touch-ups to do along the front. We'll do our best to polish, the, polish these up and touch these in prior to sale. Before we make our way over the interior, we'll check out the front screen. No major chips or cracks in the screen. A couple of light surface markings along the centre there, but other than that, looks in nice condition. Now we're going to make our way through the interior, starting in the boot. As you can see, parcel shelves including the sale of the vehicle. It does have the strings, it just needs clipping up actually. All carpets and plastics look in good condition. These mats, if they're for this car and fit, it's a bonus as we don't supply floor mats with any of our vehicles. All the plastics underneath the boot live in good condition as well. Moving through the interior now. Rear door cars look in good condition. And there you have the factory half leather, half cloth interior, three factory headrests, three three-point seat belts, and nice fixed fittings to both outer seats. Charcoal headliners in good condition. Backs of both front seats look good and the rear carpets look good as well. Moving through the front now. Front door cars look in good condition. Got the S-line kick plates. And there you have the front S-line interior. Again, half leather, half cloth bolster, still firm, holding their shape, no excessive wear, no rips, no tears, no cigarette burns, no traces of any odours or anything like that. Same goes for the passenger seat, really nice condition, there's no signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. 
and we're going to try our best to run you through as much of the spec as possible. So we've got full electronic windows with electronic adjustable uh, heated and power folding side mirrors, central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle, automatic lights and wipers on this car, we'll try and battle the sun glare. Moving across we've got cruise control on the stock just underneath the indicators, and moving up the centre console we've got the 5 speed manual transmission, heated rear screen, traction control and tyre pressure monitoring, we've got the air conditioning controls in the centre here, all the MMI controls and we'll try and run you through those the best we can. So we've got DAB radio with a few other options as you can see here in media. We've got Bluetooth audio streaming and again a couple of other options you can see. Telephone, we've got full telephone prep on this car. And we've got satellite navigation, we just need to get a, an SD card for it. Moving across, we're finished off with this S-Line leather-bound multifunction steering wheel, and this car is on 69,416 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions regarding this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thank you again.